Hey, welcome back students. In this lesson, I want to go ahead and uh, review a problem that we've already done before, but this time I want to use the short method to help you answer it. And so here we have a problem. We have an equation or a chemical reaction equation that we've got. We want to go ahead and begin by first reading the question. The question is, how many moles of lithium carbonate are produced when 2.5 grams of carbon dioxide are reacted with lithium hydroxide in the above reaction? Now notice the reaction is not balanced, so let's go ahead and balance that quickly here so that we can move on. And so let me go ahead and take care of that for you. And so what we've got here is the very first thing that I see is we have two lithiums on the right side, so I'm going to need a two coefficient right here for the lithium hydroxide on the left hand side, so that gives me that what I need there. I've got two carbons on both sides, and I've got a total of two oxygens for carbon dioxide, there's two oxygens there, now I've got two oxygens in the lithium hydroxide because of my coefficient, and that equals the number of oxygens on the right side, so my coefficients are one, two, one, one. So now my equation is balanced, and what I want to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite this entire equation down below, because notice I've got a little table down here, and this table is important because what we're going to use uh, in, in this calculation is we're going to use this table to help us find the answers a little bit uh, quicker than normally we would have done with the long method. And so let me show you how to do that. So let me just go ahead and rewrite it down for you at the bottom and then we'll begin solving everything. So here we go. So here is the uh, reaction, I wrote it down below, and so all we really need to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and put some, some numbers here. Let me uh, draw the lines that I need to draw. And so first step, once we do this, once we've got this equation written again, the next thing that you need to do, using a table of course, you're going to go ahead and write, draw some rows. And then you're going to create lines for the column divisions every time you see an arrow. So right here we would draw a line, and every time you see a plus sign. We'll draw a line there, and here there's another plus sign on the other side. And the reason that we want to do this is because essentially we want to create columns where at the top of the column you're going to find each of the compounds. Notice that we've got the compound at the very top here for carbon dioxide. At the top of this uh, column we've got lithium hydroxide. And then on the right side of the equation we've got lithium carbonate as the column heading and water as the last one. So we've got four different compounds, four different columns. Now each of these sections then is going to be slightly different and so what we're going to do here is we're going to now begin to fill it but keep in mind that each of these rows is going to have a unique different uh, it's going to have a unique unit that we're going to do or fill it with. So the first column over here at the very far right the first row this is going to be where we're going to put the information for grams that we're given. Notice the problem here asks for grams and it wants to know moles so the conversion here is from grams to moles, so we do need to put the grams here in the first row. The second thing that we need to do or fill out here is we need to know how many um, grams per mole or the molar mass of every su substance here. So we're going to put here molar mass. And that's what we're going to identify for each and every compound that pertains to this question. And then the last thing that we're going to find out here is the number of moles. Now at first glance you're probably wondering well why do I need to do this the reason you need to do this is because it's going to simplify how easy we find answers for each and every compound whether it be molar mass whether it be moles or whether it be grams 
Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out what we've got here. Let's go ahead and look at the original problem, and the original problem tells us the following. It tells us that it wants us to find out how many moles of lithium carbonate, and so let's go ahead and put that in, in terms of a, in our table, kind of identified as a question mark or X, because that's what we're trying to find. So we look for lithium carbonate, that's going to be on the right hand side, and we're trying to find moles. So I'll just put a little question mark, because that's what we're trying to find. What else do we know? Well, we know that we have 2.5 grams of carbon dioxide. So let's go ahead and begin with that information there. And so since we know that, let's go ahead and find carbon dioxide. It's going to be on the left-hand side of the equation. And we just go ahead and enter the information that we're given. So in this particular case, we are given that carbon dioxide has 2.5 grams. Okay, so the next step in this case, since we are trying to find the moles of lithium carbonate, what we need to do then is we need to make our way down here and find the moles of carbon dioxide. In order for us to do that, we need to first find the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So if we do that, then we're going to have a better chance to get the moles and then we can use the short method to get us the answer that we want. So the very first thing here is we find the molar mass of carbon dioxide. That means we're going to take the mass of the carbon and the two oxygens. And if we do that, that mass is the following. 44.008 grams per one mole of carbon dioxide. So in order for us to find the moles, we just take the grams that they gave us, 2.5, and we're going to divide it by the molar mass. And since we've already set it up in this fashion on the table here, all we have to do is kind of just do this and divide the two. And if we do that, we get the following answer. 0 0.0568 moles of carbon dioxide. So now the, the short method then involves the following. And I'm just going to go ahead and write it down here in red. Since we're trying to find information in this first column, let me put a little asked or little dot by it, and we're trying to find information in this other column, I'll put a dot by it, the only two columns and the coefficients that I am concerned with are the ones for these two columns only. So the compounds at the top, the carbon dioxide and the lithium carbonate, are the only two compounds I care about. So since I'm trying to find this question mark, for lithium carbonate, I'm going to take the number here, 0 0.0568, I'm going to multiply it times 1, and then I'm going to divide it by the 1 in the carbon dioxide, and that should give me the answer that I want. Now, one obvious thing that you can look at right now is if you look at the coefficients for both of these compounds, you're going to find the following. The coefficient is 1 and 1. That means whatever answer I got for the carbon dioxide is the same exact answer for the lithium carbonate in terms of moles. And so that answer is going to be 0 0.0568 moles of lithium carbonate. I know this lesson went a little bit over, but this is the beginnings of the short method. I'm going to go ahead and write another video uh, that you can practice a little bit further, a little bit more complicated. I'm not going to provide that much explanation, but at the very least in this video you get to see how it's done. Okay, so check us on the next one and we'll see you soon.